Welcome to Cooking Curbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the OMDB API to find movie data. So if I pop open Firefox right here, I have this page that I made. And if I type in the name of a movie, such as Jaws, some information about the movie appears. The name, the poster, the year it came out, and the link to its IMDb page. Let's get started. Alright, so first you're going to need to copy the link to jQuery. Um, I'll put that in the description, and later you're going to need a different link, but we'll worry about that later. So, pop open your text editor. Here it is. I'm going to quickly go ahead and save this file. Um, so that it has the HTML colors. So I'm going to call it film data dot HTML. The desktop, sure, why not? All right, and we're going to start by making a doc type tag because you know you should do that. So exclamation mark doc type HTML. That's all done. All right, next we're going to make an input tag because we need a text box to type into, you know, the name of the movie. So input. And this is going to be more relevant later, but on key up equals, in quotes, get answer, answer, open parentheses, document dot get element by ID open parentheses and then single quotes Q U R Y query box uh, and single quotes close parentheses dot value close the other parentheses and close quotes all right and the input needs to have an ID it's going to be ID equals, in quotes, you guessed it, query box. Because when you lift up a key, it's going to run the function on itself. All right. Next, open a div tag. Div ID equals, and in quotes, and hello, answer. Close those quotes and close that div tag because we don't need to put anything in it right now. Open up a script tag, script, and src equals and paste in the link to jQuery because we're going to be using jQuery and close quotes and close the script tag. And that's it for HTML. Now it's time or some JavaScript. So, open up a script tag and uh, make a variable called data, var data, semicolon. We're going to need this variable later, not right now, obviously. And create a function. Function, and we're going to spell it right this time. <laughs> Get Answer, open parentheses, Q. Hey, remember up here when we used the function get answer and we typed in this for the value? That's right, that's this function. Open curly braces, and inside of it, we're going to make a get request. Which reminds me, you need to have another link copied, and let me show you that. Now. So, the link you need to have copied can be found at omdbapi.com. So you need to go here, and to get an API key, you just click down here, API key, and you click free. Then you just type your email, your name, and a quick description of what you're going to use it for, and they'll send you an email 
with a link to activation. They'll just click that link and then go back to the email and they'll send you another link. And that other link you'll need to have copied. All right, close out of Firefox. Let's get back to work. Let's get back to work. So, dollar sign dot get, you know, to make the get request. Open parentheses and open quotes and paste in the link. Um, and you're going to need to make some changes. So first off, you see this thing that says and question mark i equals tt um, and some numbers. Um, get rid of all that. Replace, put where the i was, put an s equals and then close those quotes. Then you're going to put plus q plus open quotes and then you're going to close all the way down here at the end of the link close quotes and the reason you're doing this is because we're searching by movie title and not by ID I was ID and the plus Q is because it's this Q right here which is connected to this which is what you typed into the box comma function again open parentheses raw data data, close parentheses, open curly braces, on the next line. So raw data is the data that you got from the query. It is JSON. So, create a new variable, var raw string equals JSON with a capital J S O N N dot string if I open parentheses raw data. So what that doing is turning the raw data into a string. Next data. Hey look, the variable we made up there equals J S O N with a capital J S O N N dot parse open parentheses, raw string, close parentheses. All right, almost done. Var title equals data, data, dot, search with a capital S, open square brackets, zero, close square brackets. And what zero means is that it's the first search result, the very top result, because it'll have multiple results. If you change the zero to a one, it'll be the second result, and so forth. So if you want to have multiple results on one page, you can just change some stuff around. But I only want one result, and I want it to be the most important one. So zero. All right. Dot title with a capital T, semicolon, on the next line var year equals data data dot not a slash made that mistake last time dot search open squares brackets zero close squares brackets dot year with a capital Y semicolon on the next line var I M D B U R L equals and wait for it, this one's different. In quotes, https colon slash slash www.imdb.com slash title slash close quotes plus data whoops, not with a capital D data dot search with a capital S open squarish brackets zero close squarish brackets dot I M D B I D with a capital last I N D plus in quotes slash close quotes semicolon. Alrighty. Next line var poster URL equals in quotes, no, not in quotes, 
Forget I said that. Var poster URL equals data. Not like that. Data dot search open squares brackets zero close squares brackets dot poster with a capital P semicolon. And finally, last thing we got to do, my favorite command. You guessed it. Document dot get element by ID open parentheses and in quotes answer answer gotta spell it right close parentheses and quotes Did that. dot inner HTML with a capital HTML equals in quotes open h1 tag h1 close quotes plus title that's that variable up there plus in quotes close the h1 tag slash h1 br for line break you know the tag open an image tag img src equals open whatever other kind of quotes there there is because you know there's double quotes and single quotes i'm using double quotes up here so i'm going to use single quotes over here so um open single quotes and uh close those double quotes plus poster url it's that string up there you made plus in quotes again slash and greater than sign to close the, the image tag because no you don't close image tags in that way all right line break again br and open a p tag p year released colon space close quotes plus year year plus open quotes again slash p all right finally br P, open another P tag. IMDB page colon space colon IMDB page colon open A tag href href equals in quotes wait yeah no, equals close quotes plus IMDB URL plus open quotes again space target equals and it quotes underscore blank. So it'll open in a new tab. Um, also, make those single quotes again. Target equals underscore blank. Close single quotes. Close that up. And close double quotes. Plus IMDB URL. So that it displays what the text is, you know, inside the A tag. Plus in quotes. Close the A tag. Slash A. And slash P. Close up that P tag. End quote. Semicolon. And on the next line, close up those curly braces from way up there, close up that parentheses from way up there, and close the last curly brace from way up there, and close the script tag. And guess what? We are done. Control S to save or Command S if you're on a Mac like me. Pop open your browser. Here in your new tab, I'm going to make this window a little bit smaller. Here it is, filmdata.html. Let me just drag it in. Oh, it seems as if I have spelled the word script wrong. Script. There we go. Save that. Reload in the browser. And let me just search for a movie. Jaws. And I know why. Up here, you see where it says uh, omdapi.com? 
It says HTTP. Change that to an HTTPS. Reload in the browser after saving. Uh, whoops. Jaws again, and I found another bug. See how it says over here API key? You want to have before that a little and sign. Save. Go back to your browser and reload. Yes. And it works! Almost! As you can see down here, this link doesn't work, but that's a simpler problem. And over here, there also is a bug. See, I forgot to close the single quote that I opened over here, so I gotta do that. Save that, go back to the browser, and reload, and it should work. JAWS, space delete. And it works! As you can see, there's the year it came out, 1975, IMDb page. It'll work for most movies. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and buy my merch and all that garbage. And remember that Blender is better.